Yo! We are back at it again this evening. Tonight, we are examining the effects of diffusion. Because of diffusion and the increased interaction due to space-time compression, more cultures are interacting with one another than ever before. With increased interaction between cultures, cultural traits and patterns change, disappear, or new cultural traits emerge. So that will be our conversation tonight. So let's start with acculturation. That is cultural modification or change that results when one culture group or individual adopts certain customs of a dominant or host society. Cultural development or change through borrowing, also known as cultural appropriation. I had a student a long time ago remember that since acculturation begins with ACC, that stood for adopts certain customs. That's a nice little mnemonic device to remember the meaning. Acculturation is the idea of adopting enough of the host society's cultural traits so an individual can function economically and socially, but retaining other key cultural traits from their original culture. For example, when someone migrates to another country and adopts a new language, dress, eats new foods, etc., but then retains and practices their religion, that would be acculturation because they only adopted certain customs. Assimilation, on the other hand, is a process by which a minority population reduces or loses completely its identifying cultural characteristics and blends into the host society. So these unique cultural traits are completely erased. So assimilation is stronger than acculturation. And as cultures come into contact with each other, some cultures are lost entirely. One estimate says that at least one third of all cultures have totally disappeared since 1500, which includes their languages, traditions, ways of life, and with it, memory of their existence. This is where things get difficult. There are strong opinions about assimilation. Some people argue that assimilation leaves a country without its unique sense of culture, while others may argue that assimilation is critical to building a communal society. Regardless, there are certain patterns and trends that we notice with assimilation. Younger members of a cultural group tend to move away from their local communities towards urban metropolitan areas potentially losing their folk or indigenous culture traits for popular culture traits. Intermarriage between culture groups is a trend that can also lead toward assimilation. Perhaps the most prominent example of assimilation was the forced assimilation of indigenous cultures within the United States. Native American students were taken from their families, forced to cut their hair, taught English, and forced to wear American-style clothing. The intent was to erase the indigenous culture and entirely blend into American culture. Similar policies were implemented in Canada, Australia, and Russia. Acculturation and assimilation are effects of diffusion where cultural traits are lost. Multiculturalism, on the other hand, is the coexistence of several cultures in one society. So when we see ethnic enclaves within a city, that displays multiculturalism rather than assimilation. If we can see, hear, and experience another culture in one particular area of a city, rather than that culture melting away, it suggests coexistence rather than erasure. In fact, many advocates of multiculturalism have pushed back against the metaphor of society as a melting pot and pushed forward the metaphor of a tossed salad 
In a salad, we see all of the ingredients mixing together, complementing each other, but never entirely dissolving. For example, the border region between the United States and Mexico illustrate cultural traits from both cultures. In communities like El Paso, Texas, people may be fluent in both English and Spanish and have cultural ties to both Mexico and the United States. So far, we have talked about cultural traits disappearing, coexisting, but what happens when two cultures interact and new culture traits and patterns emerge? That is known as syncretism. Syncretism is the blending of traits from two different cultures to form a new trait. We can see lots of examples of this in religion. Buddhism joined with local cultural practices in Japan to create Shintoism, something entirely new. And in China, it joined with local practices to create Taoism. Sikhism is perhaps the best example of religious syncretism. It began in the Punjab region near the modern day border of India and Pakistan. Scholars can see influences of Muslim saints in the Hindu Vedas in the teachings of the Sikh gurus. So let's look at a visual to help us with the different effects of diffusion. Let's turn this into a little matching game. I want you to draw a line from the term on the right to the best visual representation on the left. So let's start with assimilation. Which of these interactions seems to best represent assimilation. In this example, when the blue culture and the yellow culture interact, the blue culture disappears entirely. That is known as assimilation. Next up, we have acculturation. A-C-C, -C, acculturation. Which of these visuals appears to be closest to that. This interaction shows that when the blue culture and the yellow culture interact, the person maintains some blue while adopting parts of the yellow culture. Not all of it. They only adopt certain customs. Next up, syncretism. Yeah, our bottom interaction shows that the blue culture and the green culture interact and form an entirely new culture, the green culture. But we still have multiculturalism. Which of these interactions seems to have the most in common with multiculturalism? Remember our salad bowl example? Acculturation and multiculturalism have a lot in common particularly that we can still see culture traits from a variety of different cultures, just like we would in the salad bowl. So which of these effects would most closely align to the melting pot example from earlier? Probably assimilation, as people join the stew, as they melt into society, they lose the culture traits they previously had, and that was assimilation. All right. That's all for tonight, folks. I'll see you all back in class.